this year's Fakuma Trade Fair, uh, we have the unique opportunity to meet the representative of Ukrainian uh, company. Please describe in few words uh, what are you doing. Um, thank you for the introduction. Indeed, this is our first time at Fakuma. Uh, we've been visiting Fakuma, I think, for the latest 10-15 years, but the only first time which we are here as exhibitor. We produce injection molds. We are located in the Dnipro near Dnipro in the city called Kamienske and our company name is Peste Hasnaska. We've been doing, doing mold since uh, already 30 years and the company is 30 years and still our CEO and owner is the management of the company. Here you can see our products for different types of industry including automotive. So and still we continue delivering the parts for Volkswagen, Jaguar Land Rover, uh, BMW and Audi. So we are located in Ukraine and we are really um, um, so we are really happy today being here to meet our customers from different countries and we hope also to find the new customers from the new countries. And as a Ukrainian, I want to thank you guys, the Germany people, the people of Poland, the people of Europe for helping our country. It's really thank you. You mentioned you are the first time as an exhibitor uh, in this trade first. Uh, please tell me what were your expectations and what are your uh, impressions after the second day of this fair? Um, let's say we, uh, it goes as we expected. We are we are lucky to get very good location at Fakuma, and we were um, we were uh, excited to meet the new customers. And actually, we met them. We don't know whether it will bring into the new uh, cooperation, but for sure it's the opportunity and good opportunity for us as a Ukrainian company. I'm sorry for the question, but uh, it is really interesting for the uh, people in Europe. Uh, what are the circumstances of your uh, activity in Ukraine and mean the political situation? So, uh, luckily, uh, the war activities uh, uh, haven't reached our uh, region, but actually it's not luckily, but due to the Ukrainian army and due to the support we, give, we get from Europe, USA and other countries. Uh, in our location, everything is calm and safe and the same as it was before. Uh, we keep uh, producing, actually after the 24th of February we were stopped for three days in Sinwall packaging production and for five days in automotive production. And since then we keep producing and keep delivering. You have established a subsidiary in Poland. What are, what are your plans about this market? Uh, so, initially we planned, when we started to uh, this activity to make a subsidiary in Poland, we plan to move to relocate our production. Now, uh, as soon as it in requires a lot of financial effort, and we cannot afford it at this moment, so we still run the business as uh, uh, the company, as an entity, but we haven't done the relocation of equipment. We continue producing in Ukraine, and we are uh, trying to expand our new relationships with Ukrainian or sorry with Polish customers and see for the other opportunities to come.